Well, good morning. And it's early morning and we're out for another walk. Um, I may have made, well, not a cardinal sin, but a mistake in, I think I set the alarm early enough. Um, but I'm not quite sure I got, <laughs> got ready quick enough. I was procrastinating and, and left the house later than I intended. I'm on my way up, and if I turn round, oh, where are I? Up there. Up there, we're going up there, which is Raven Crag. And there's brilliant views of Thirlmere and across to Helvellyn and the likes. So that is the plan. And the plan it was, or is, to get the top for sunrise. I'm just wondering if I've left it taking too long getting going and gonna sunrise is gonna be before I get up there but we'll just have to see uh, it's very chilly this morning the outside thermometer on the van on the way here was saying minus four which um, for the UK is very chilly so I'd imagine on the top it'll be even colder. As you can probably tell from my breathing, it's quite a steep climb. It's eased off a bit, so I thought I could start filming and talk to the camera. Because the first bit was even steeper. Yeah, so, but just to remind everybody if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? It does the channel great good. And please feel free to comment. I do take a note of all comments and do reply even if it's just a thank you. So... Yeah. Anyway, we'll carry on. And we'll probably see you when we get to the top. So, see you later. Right, well, we've arrived at the top. Uh, although there's clear skies above, there's quite a lot of cloud over Helvellyn. Um, but if we look that way, that's Blencatter that's lit up quite nicely. And then we've got a cloud all along the Helvellyn Ridge. And then there's um, it's where the sun would be rising. Over there. There's a little colour below the cloud above the lake. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get the camera out, have a mooch around and see what we can see. As you can see on the, the handrail there, there's a robin that's been following me around. So I don't know what he's hoping for, but... Yeah, let's we'll see what we can do. Maybe try and get a nice picture of Blencathra, uh, or maybe one of the the colour over there. We'll see what we can do. So, yeah, we'll see you shortly. Right, well, I've captured an image of um, Blencathra. Um, I took one just after I'd arrived, but it was getting clouded in. It, it's cleared now with the sun on it, so, yeah, I've... That's more or less the image I've captured. Um, if we look at the back of the camera, what F11, 100 ISO, and a fifteenth of a second. So, yeah, it's the forecast. I think is going to be correct about clear skies. I think it's just the early morning mist and that burning off. Uh, as you can see now, uh, the whole Helen range is starting to clear. Um, and there's light appearing on the lake down there. Yeah. Just looking out, there's a, a sun ray shining across. So I'll maybe move the camera around, see if we can get a shot of, uh, or capture an image of the, of the lake there with the, the light behind. So, um, yeah, I'll put up the, um, 
the image of Blaine Cathra and if this image is any good we'll put this up as well so we'll see you shortly. Right, as you can see the sun's just poked over the top of Helvellyn. So I managed to get, um, which I'll put up after this, uh, a shot looking down that way with the sun um, half above and got a starburst or sunburst. Uh, for those that don't know how you do that, you need a very small aperture. So I stopped down to f22 um, and you need the sun peeping over something so side of a mountain uh, a cloud or something if you just get the sun in the sky you don't get the um, the the, um, the sun beams or whatever you call them coming out from the sun whereas if you get it caught it's in half bright if you get it um, just peeping over something you can get the um, yeah, the sunbeams coming out. So hopefully that'll come out and we'll put that up. Um, not quite sure what we're going to do now. I might just wait till a little bit longer here, see what I can get. Um, there is somebody else about that I've seen, because I've seen a drone, another drone up in the sky. Maybe when the clouds clear, I might get my drone up again. I have had it up once, but... Um, it wasn't particularly, uh, it was quite cloudy and whatever. Now the sun's got out, it might be worth uh, getting it up. Maybe not here. Um, I was thinking when I get down, I might go on to the actual dam and see if, or around there, see if I can get any pictures, uh, images looking up, up Thirlmere. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's turning out better than I thought. I thought I'd got a bit late and missed sunrise and, and now just the sun peeping over the top of Helvell and it's, uh, it's quite good. Uh, and if we look back over here to Blancatra that I took, uh, it's a bit dark in that direction, took the pictures earlier, although it's lit up, uh, it hasn't got that, that golden uh, hue to it that it had earlier on um, when the sun was lower down. It's now in more standard colours. So yeah, I'll maybe hang around here a bit longer and then we'll start to head back, see what we can see on the way down, and certainly um, look to, um, yeah, to take some pictures down at the bottom. Um, what I might put up uh, after this, the image that I've just taken, just to give you an idea of what you can get up here, um, is I'll, I'll maybe take, put up an image that I took, it's probably nearly two, a couple of years ago now when I was doing the Wainwrights and I was up here and the Helvellyn range across the, the top of it was covered in snow as were some of the mountains over there uh, and it's quite a it's yeah I, I think it's quite a good picture uh, and it shows the sort of image you can get up here given the right weather conditions so yeah I'll put that up as well and then anyway we'll see you a bit later.
Right, well, I've now come up what is called Castle Crag Fort. I've never actually been up here before, so I thought I'd come. It's not far off the path. I don't know whether it's quite dark there. You can see, um, bring the camera down a little bit. Uh, there's a gate and fence. That's where the footpath came down from. Um, Raven Crag. So I've come here. Um, I have taken a handheld shot. Um, just looking towards Skidder there with the, the greenery and the, the shadows and a little bit of snow on the top of, or white on the top of Skidder. It could just be hard frost rather than actual snow. Um, you may have seen, or I may put a little bit of drone footage because it seemed quite calm and I got the drone up and was going up a height and as I got higher it started to drift away which means it was not coping with the wind so um brought it back down got it back down got it back to me but got a little bit of footage so i'll maybe have put you maybe have seen that or I'll, I'll put some of that up so yeah you can see skidder there and it's coming round there's a bit of a river down there and but i think we're just going to go back down to to Thirlmere. um as you can see there's virtually no cloud now all the cloud is has burnt off so yeah there's a, a little crag there but that's quite an impressive view of uh, going towards Skidder and you can't actually see Keswick it's um, down in the valley that you can't see but um, yeah it's pretty impressive that hopefully the handheld shot will have come out I'll put up on the video after this so we'll probably see you down at the reservoir and maybe try and get some pictures of the reservoir down there so yeah we'll see you later Right, we've come round to the dam. I was thinking we might be able to get a picture looking down Thirlmere, um, but if I was to wander along here, oh, it's maybe a bit further, you can see you start to get the, the sun coming out and yeah, there's just haze and it doesn't look so good. So um, just coming round, if we wander back to the, well, it's quite dark where the camera is, um but i thought this would make quite a good shot so a good image so if i come back here you can see there we've got the um the road over the the dam or the embankment as it was referred to um we've actually got the the lake and there in the in the center there is, is castle crag um not castle crag raven crag where we've been to the top so um, what I'll do is what I've done on previous occasions we'll just get the, um, the back of the camera going um, we'll just um, just get, set it so it looks reasonable just to remind you that um, on the back of the camera it's a slightly different ratio to what the picture will be um, unless I, I crop it to that ratio the ratio on the video is 16 by 9 um, and normally the uh, the full ratio is uh, what is it uh, 3 by 2 so yeah you can see there um, that's the image we've taken as I say we've got Castle Crag in the center there we've got some reflections in the lake there and then we've got this leading line which is the the road round the embankment um so i think it makes quite a nice 
image so that's the image I've taken um, if it's any good we'll put it up on the video um, and I think I think that's about it because I have got some work to do this afternoon so probably wander back to the van and um, yeah well if if we um, if there's anything else on the way I'll, I'll, I'll stop and take it uh, and maybe video it um, but otherwise we'll we'll see you a bit later Right, we're walking back to the van now. I've decided uh, to call it a day. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. I was pleased that I got the, that sh that image of the sun just poking over Helvellyn. Um, so that was quite good. So what I'm going to do on this video, because I've had my GPS with me, um, is as we're talking now, I'll put up a map of where we've been. Um, now somebody asked for that in one of the comments um, so thank you for them and and hopefully that will be uh, appreciated um, please if you think that's of any value and you like it please um, comment so I know what people are thinking if you think it's not appropriate comment as well so yeah <coughs> excuse me if you've enjoyed the video please um, Yeah, please click the thumbs up and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Uh, that's great uh, for the channel. And um, yeah, we're only a small channel. And as I say, if you feel like commenting on the um, whether the map is useful, that would be that would be good. But if there's anything else about the video you'd like to comment, please comment. Or if there's any thing in general about the Lake District or landscape photography. Or, thing, or places you'd like me to go in the Lake District to do videos. So, yeah, that's uh, that. So I think that wraps it up. And anyway, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.